Hello everybody, welcome to Barca Times. Hello my fellow coolers, welcome back to Barcelona Breaking News. There is a big series on the side of FC Barcelona regarding Frankie Dion and Ronald Araujo. Barca will have to make decision on them whether to sell them or to keep them in the club next summer. Leverkusen coach Xavi Alonso is also part of those who can take over as Xavi successor to take Barcelona coaching job begin from next season going. Not only this, we will talk about in today's video many more Barca news you will discuss right here so before we do start if today is the first time and as a Barca fan you want to get Barca news pictures everything about football club Barcelona then I'll be happy and also much much appreciated if you guys subscribe to this channel also don't forget to like this video and last but not the least don't also forget to drop your comments and I'll be very very much appreciated if you guys do all of these things because it's going to help me build this much small and humble channel so without time wasting let's begin with today Barca news we have right here and so we begin today's news with this Juventus Mefeda Andre Rabiot and it is said here Barcelona are among the clubs who are interested in signing Andre Rabiot in the summer and don't forget this player contract with Juventus will end at the end of this season so Rabiot will be a free agent so Barca are part of the clubs who are interested in signing him as a free agent begin from next season going because his contract with Juventus will end at the end of this season so let's see what Barca will do about Rabiot will they get him signed or Juve will extend Rabiot's contract but don't forget Barca are the one part of those who are interested in signing this Juventus Mefeda Andre Rabiot so ever since Xavi Hernandez, this is our current coach, announced that at the end of this season, he is going to step down as Barcelona coach. A lot of coaches' names have been linked with Barcelona. The likes of Hansi Flick, Mikel Arteta, John Krupp, and then the boss himself, Pep Guardiola. And Sergio Concesao name was also linked to take over as Barcelona coaching job. But as a report from Sports here, and Sports said, Joan Porta have rejected the option of Sergio Concesao to replace Xavi Hernandez beginning from next season going and he have informed his agent who is George Mendes so Concesao to take over Barcelona coaching job has been rejected by our president Joana Porta so Concesao to take over Barcelona coaching job is not gonna happen it's all because our president Joana Porta have rejected the option of Concesao who is currently coaching Porto to take over Barcelona coaching job is not gonna happen Joana Porta have rejected that option and so Concesao have been rejected by our current president Joana Porta but on the side of Xavi Alonso who is a current coach for Bayer U for Vakunsen in the Bundesliga. For Mundo Deportivo, they say Xavi Alonso is an option for FC Barcelona to replace Xavi Hernandez beginning from next season going. So Barcelona really like Xavi Alonso to take over the Barcelona coaching job from Xavi Hernandez beginning from next season going. And that is a report we did receive from Mundo Deportivo about the Barcelona interest in taking Biofold Vacuncing coach Xavi Alonso to replace Xavi Hernandez. And so this one also from sports that everything in game that our coach Xavi Hernandez will repeat the same formation like how he did it last week against Alaves away from whom with this Barcelona next game against Granada at home using four Mephides against them with Christensen playing as a pivot. So sports said Xavi will repeat the same formation like how he did it last week against Alaves with Barcelona upcoming game against Granada at home with Christensen playing as a pivot. As the sports also continue to say that Barcelona interest in Amadou Onana remain the same and you know if you're a subscriber in this channel for a long time you know who Amadou Onana is he's a midfielder for Everton football club in the Premier League and this one sports said Deco has prioritized the signing of Amadou Onana to reinforce the defensive midfielder position at FC Barcelona you know Barca still using Christensen as a defensive midfielder doesn't mean Barcelona are not going to sign a defensive midfielder Barca are Still on the market searching for a defensive midfielder, and Amadou Onana is the one Barca really likes him. He's a player for Everton Football Club. So Barcelona are still interested in signing Amadou Onana for Everton. But on the side of Everton Football Club, they are asking 60 million euros for this player, which Barcelona are also not ready to pay such amount. Barca are ready to pay 40 million euros and not to pay more than that. So Everton are asking 60 million euros for Amadou Onana, their midfielder. 
benefit that but the Barca don't want to pay more than 40 million euros so that is the case remain on Amadou Onana Barca interest in him Everton are asking 60 million euros but Barcelona don't want to pay more than 40 million euros for Amadou Onana and you know, I cannot come here without giving you news on the side of FF Polo. And FF Polo, they said FC Barcelona have decided that Ronald Araujo is untransferable. But however, on the side of Julius Kunde, Barca could consider for Julius Kunde in the summer and sell the player. So if you hear any rumor in the media that Barcelona want to sell Ronald Araujo for 100 million euros in order to balance the FFP, it's not true. Barca have decided they are not going to sell Ronald Araujo in the summer but kunde can be sell or can be sold in the summer because i've said it in one of my videos that kunde is not happy in barcelona it's all because kunde is playing as a right back which kunde have told the coach several times he don't want to play as a right back and aside that his best friend his best friend that is osman dimbele has also left the club to paris and germany so as a stand kunde don't feel all that comfortable in fc barcelona so even a significant amount of money arrived for julius kunde transfer barca could consider that one and sell Juroskunde, not Ronald Araujo. And so Red Bull have also given his reports concerning this one. Made that Frankie Dion. And what Red Bull did said is that Frankie Dion have given the green light for his departure from FC Barcelona. And Barca also don't see it as a bad idea to sell Frankie Dion. So Frankie have finally said, okay, if you want to go on and sell me, I have no problem. If you think my salary is getting higher and higher and you want to sell me, I have no problem. Barca can continue and sell him. And Barcelona too do not see that one as a bad idea for Frankie Leon giving the okay, giving the green light from his departure from FC Barcelona. And that is the report we received from Relivo. And let me know it in the comment section. You, as a Barca fan, will be happy if Barca sell Frankie Leon in order to balance the FFP to sign more players or Barca still continue to keep Frankie Leon in the club. Let me know everything in the comment section. But as it stands, Relivo have said Frankie Leon have given the green light for his departure from FC Barcelona. Our striker Robert Lewandowski have also said he want to score a goal in the new Spotify camp noon that are yet to be completed. He want to score a goal in that new Spotify Barcelona camp noon. You can see it here on the newspaper with his interview he did had with Sports. This is also Barcelona, a league home jersey for next season. How do you see it? Is it beautiful or not? Let me know everything in the comment section. And that's all for today. I will see you guys soon in my next video. But please make sure you like like this video for me i'll be very very much happy if i get 100 likes for this video and last one don't also forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i will see you guys soon in my next video but until then vishka basa vishka catalonia i thank you guys for all of your support and also for watching this video thank you